basically born into art. My sister and I have been raised going to art galleries, museums, art shows all over the world. I really didn't paint until I was about 15, but before that it was always doodling, sketching, mostly just pencil drawings. I started working for my dad as his underpainter when I was 15, and that's when I really realized that it was fun, I enjoyed it, I had a steady hand, and I could make a smooth blend with acrylic paint. Growing up with my dad being a world famous artist really opened my eyes at an early age to the art world, to art history, being an artist, being self-employed with my art for six years now, I'm slowly learning how important it is and how amazing it would be to actually have my work remembered for years to come after I'm gone. I started a painting that is now known as Bite Me. It's a huge lip painting with a melty bullet in the mouth. I just started this painting five by five feet for me. I love the idea. I love dripping anything, especially bronze, if you can make it look like it's gold dripping or bronze dripping. I love that look. It took me a year from start to finish. And I didn't think anyone would like it. Again, it was just something that I did. It wasn't a commission. It wasn't really something I thought uh, hundreds of people would enjoy like they do today. It's just amazing to see that like I can paint something and then just put it everywhere. My goal with each painting is to make you feel something. When I finish it, I want to step back, look at it, and have a feeling, whether it's romance, passion, excitement. So after painting for 15 years, painting for myself for six or seven years now, I think it took becoming a mom and learning that next level of patience and love and compassion. That really helped me learn how to sit down, be still, focus, check in with my thoughts, and it's all while I am working from home with my baby. My studio is at home, she's with me, almost 24 seven. She's with me in my studio while we paint together, keeping me on my toes, but I can still manage to get some photorealistic paintings in, some wrinkles in hands, while a baby's either on my hip or crawling around my studio, pulling on my chair, laughing, crying, you name it. It's a whole nother level of patience.